What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. If you guys do remember in our last video we did install a TRD Pro grill for the 5th gen RAV4s. So for today's video we're going to be installing Raptor lights. Hell yeah. So if you guys are interested on how to install them and how to wire them please make sure to watch today's video. Now if you guys do have a Tacoma and you guys want to do the same thing make sure to check out the description box below because we've also done a video for the Tacomas. So check that one out for today's 5th gen RAV4. Let's get it. All right, you guys, so like always, we're going to go ahead and show you guys exactly what tools you're going to need to do this install, and we're going to show you exactly what comes in the box. So it's going to be super simple as long as you guys follow these steps, of course. So looking right here, of course, we do have the Raptor lights. If you guys do end up wanting to purchase them, description box below. So inside the Raptor light box, you're going to get, of course, the four, if you guys did get four. And we got them in amber, as you guys can tell. They look really good, and you guys will see why, because for future installs, we're going to be doing some more lighting upgrades, so it's going to look really good. And then it's it's going to come of course with a harness but noticing right here it doesn't have no type of fuse or anything like that so that's one thing we are going to add additionally so you guys make sure to pay attention when we do the install so that's what comes inside the box so now as far as tools what you're going to need is going to be a 10 millimeter socket or a wrench or a tool like this you're going to want to go ahead and get a panel removal tool it doesn't matter if it's metal or plastic we just like using this one because it's really good you're going to want to go ahead and get a wire crimper just something simple like this and then a wire splicer you guys will see why the next thing you're going to want to go ahead and get to make it for a clean install is going to be some zip ties and then we're going to be using a spade like this i know it's an open end but down the road we're going to swap it out for a better spade uh, for now this is all we have so we're going to be working with these bad boys here this one's going to be used for our ground we're going to be using a add a fuse like this as far as for the toyota's kind of like when we did it on my tacoma um, on the toyota fuse boxes it does use uh, the mini fuses so as you can tell we have one of those bad boys there but so basically that's all the tools and stuff you're going to need um, it's going to be a super simple install like i said just follow the steps so let's go ahead and now get into it so first things first we're going to go ahead and look right here we're going to go ahead and locate the fuse box so it's going to be right here it's going to be really easy to open up it has little tabs right here and then on this side and then you go ahead and remove it so the luxury of us doing this video for you guys we've already tested which fuse is going to work for at a fuse so you guys can skip that step as far as like checking which fuse you need to use so as long as you follow these install instructions it should work so we've already tested on which fuse we're going to tap into which we'll get to in a bit so first things first we're going to go ahead and get our 10 millimeter socket and we're going to start removing some screws so let's go ahead and do that so to make this as easy of an install as possible without removing the bumper a way we can access um, the back of the grill to run the wires and run the raptor lights is we can actually take this cover off is this in two 10 millimeters one right there one right there and then we're also going to be removing the clips that hold this cover on just go in here take them off with our handy dandy pry tool better known as a panel removal tool and just like that super easy literally nothing hard about that so basically what we by removing those two and those clips it takes this little uh, thing off so the reason we removed this of course is so that way we have a lot more room over here in the back to kind of access the back zip tie the wires and of course install the actual Raptor lights onto this TRD Pro grill so our next step now is we're just gonna go ahead and pop in the lights um, so the cool thing about this is of course you can kind of install them basically where you want we've already off camera kind of just looked it up mocked it up and seen where we want it so of course this is your choice on where you want to set them up so let's do that now so for the first step on this it's gonna be super simple the cool thing about these actual Raptor lights they have clips and they fit right into the TRD Pro grill so first things first you want to go ahead and kind of just feed in the wire we've already kind of mocked up as far as where we want it and then once we do that then you just go ahead and kind of squeeze them in and they'll clip right in that's the cool thing about these lights so once you hear the snapping you're good to go so we're gonna keep going right here 
All right, you guys, hell yeah. So now that we have it installed, like we said, you feed in the wire, then you kind of clip it in. We've mocked it up. We know where we want it. It looks good. So I can't wait to show you guys this at night, of course, because we are going to do that. We're going to give you guys a quick night clip just so you guys see. But there it is. So up next, what we're going to be doing is going to be kind of focusing in the back over here. Now we're going to be running the harness and installing it. Then we'll get to the fuse box part of this, and then you'll be done. Yeah. Yee. So up next right now, what Steve has in his hand is the harness that was provided for the actual Raptor lights. Now we're going to be installing it onto the Raptor lights, of course. So all you do, it's super easy. You grab one end and you clip it into the harness. All they are is clips and they only go in one way. So you can't really mess this up. Once you clip it in, you just kind of give it a tug. Make sure they're not going to fall off. Super simple super easy so there's four raptor lights so of course we're gonna have four connections and once we connect all four after that we're gonna go ahead and use our handy dandy zip ties here we're gonna use the black ones just so it's nice and clean and then we'll go ahead and zip tie everything out of the way so that way it looks nice and clean kind of like a factory look and then we'll go ahead and move on to the fuse box section of this and basically be done super easy now that we've zip tied it as you can tell it looks nice and clean doesn't even look like there's anything back there so moving on this way what we've done is we just ran the wire there put it underneath the headlight and now we've zip tied it to this existing harness there uh, we'll go ahead and clip the zip tie off right now and then what we did is ran it back in through here and now the wire is coming out underneath this flap here so up next of course what we're going to need to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and set the ground which is this black one and then we'll go ahead and connect the adifuse to this red one which is the power and then we'll go ahead and go to the fuse box connect that and then we'll go ahead and test these bad boys out Hell yeah. So now that we're in the fuse box, uh, we're gonna show you guys. But before that, looking on the actual box, you're gonna see there, that's gonna be the puller that we're gonna need to actually remove the fuse. So the fuse we're gonna be removing is that 7.5 there. Super easy to take off. So let me get you guys kind of a general idea of where I'm at. Here's the headlight. So looking at the fuse box, looking way back here, it should be this top one there. It says 7.5. We're gonna go ahead and now grab our add a fuse and we're gonna put that 7.5 that we did take off. We're gonna put it there, which is closest to the open end that's gonna go back into the fuse box. And right here at the top, we just put a five amp fuse. So it's gonna be that easy. Then we go ahead and reinstall it just like that. Once it's nice and clipped in, uh, what we're gonna be doing, uh, this is totally up to you guys. We're gonna uh, kind of chop it just slightly enough so that way the fuse box cover can close again and everything will be nice and sealed. And then we'll go ahead and crimp down uh, the wire for the power that will be going to our harness. All right, you guys, so what we did here is, of course, we have uh, the add a fuse connected. Uh, we slightly cut this just a little bit, just so that way when we install this add a fuse, it's nice and flush, because before doing that, it was kind of sitting up. Didn't want it to do a bad connection, so we did that. That part is good. So then the next thing we noticed, this lid, of course, wasn't going to sit on correctly. So then we uh, got the Dremel and started cutting away on here. What we did, we didn't just slice it right away. We kind of did little by little, little by little, and little by little and then we kept uh, measuring the cap and trying to put it back on so we're at the sweet spot right now this looks like it's perfect so now we could go ahead and cover up the fuse box and then just kind of let it sit and as you can tell it still snaps right in and we're good to go up next what we're going to be doing is now crimping on this add a fuse onto the power wire of the harness and then we'll do the ground after that what i'm doing here is um i just took the cap off as you can see on the swar they do have like little caps um already ready for you to splice in i instead of cutting off the excess i just kind of folded it just because as you can see the add a fuse wire and the wire for the harness is a little bit different um if we fold it up and put it in it should make a way better connection than if we just put it in as it was so now we'll get our crimp kind of like crimping it in a couple places just so i know it's good give it a tug and we're solid Hell yeah up next of course now we're going to go ahead and move on to the negative which is going to go directly connected to the negative of the battery now if you guys do have a body a bolt that you guys find and you guys want to put it onto the body just of course where there's paint you want to go ahead and shave off the paint connect it as far as for us it's just a lot easier to just directly connect it to the negative of the battery which is what we're going to do so we're going to go ahead and put our spade on right now just like that and same thing we're going to crimp it onto the negative of the battery Make sure it's a solid connection. And then we'll go ahead and give it a little tug. See that it doesn't fall off. And now we could connect it to the negative of the battery. All it uses is a 10 millimeter socket uh, bolt. We slide it right in since we do have open end uh, spades. And then bolt it right in securely. 
and now it ain't going nowhere so now we could go ahead and just kind of move this stuff off to the side zip tie it just so that way the access wire isn't looking all ugly and then we'll go ahead and test it out show you guys that it works so what we did is we actually installed them in a way where the vehicle is on the raptor lights will turn on so right now that we have steve inside of the vehicle i'm gonna have him turn on the car and these things should turn on let's do it now so there it is you guys they're working they look great hell yeah so that's a trd pro grill with a raptor lights so if you guys did miss the trd pro grill install check out our last week's video it's there but as far as the raptor lights they're now installed we'll show you guys how they look at night as well but damn she ha she happy camper <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope you guys did like how this turned out. Let me go ahead and show you guys from the back side. So, of course, now that we put all the panels back together, everything looks factory. It looks like we didn't touch anything. All the wires are nice and tucked. The only thing that we do have kind of sticking out right here, which we did use some Tessa tape. I want to point that out. That way it looks nice and clean. Um, but the only thing, as you can tell, this wire is sticking up a little bit because, as we said, we're going to change out the spade on the negative wire. And then once we do that, the actual wire is going to be coming out this way. And then we're going to zip tie it down here just so that way it's a cleaner install. But we wanted to go ahead and show you guys that. So, yeah, it looks nice and factory. Heck, yeah. Look at that. Damn. Alright you guys, now we finished up the Raptor Light install. As you can tell, they look freaking great. So if you guys do want to buy them, it's going to be in the description box below. And don't forget, last week's video, go check it out on how we installed the TRD Pro Grill onto this RAV4. It was actually pretty easy, but it was a long process. If you want to watch that, description box below. It looks good. What do you think? Awesome? Oh, dude, it looks great. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow up on the RAV4 page. The Instagram will be in the description box below. See you guys next time. Jesse, yes, oh, it's here for you. It's here for you. Na, na, na. Like I said, it's super simple. Please feel free to subscribe.